All right, this meeting is called to order. McBrain here. Winscott here. Knight absent. Mackey present. Bassett here. Thank you. We'll entertain a approve of the agenda as presented. I'd like to make a motion to pull ordinance 24C from the agenda. That's on the consent agenda. That's oh, not on. Oh, so that wouldn't be on this. Agenda. No, that would be when they okay make a motion for consent agenda. I'll do it then. Move to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those say nay. I have it. All right, we'll move on to the public hearing. Uh, we'll declare the public hearing to be open. For the amendment, approve the resolution number 24-06, resolution to approve and amending the FY24 budget. That's just what it's for. It's just what it's for. You have to open the hearing, hearing if there's any public that has any comments. Do you have to close it before we vote? Yep. Can I make yep. a motion to vote? We got to close it. I know we can close it. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Ayes have it. Right, now open. Yep. Now open the floor up to public comments. For any public comments. Hearing none. We'll close public comments. Moving on to the consent agenda. So I can I can make a motion now. Mm -hmm. I make a motion to pull twenty four C ordinance regarding water fees for vacant properties. Anybody want to second it? Mm -hmm. I'll second it. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's under business items. <laughs> <laughs> but that's right. She can make a motion because it's still the. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, it's under business items. Okay. So we'll just entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. Okay. Uh, your, your Down yeah. here. Okay. And we'll do. Correct. In there. I make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Roll call. All right, roll call. Oh. McGreen oh. motion, then Mackey second. Yep. Um, McGreen? Yes. yes. Winscott? Yes. Knight is absent. Mackey? Yep. Bassett? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, moving on to business items. Presentation by Karen Z. Something. Something. Sorry. Nope. Hello. Hello. Uh, first of all, let me apologize for last meeting. <laughs> Got the time wrong. I showed up at seven and nobody was here. <laughs> it's all right. Um, Karen Sebby, Story County Community Foundation. Uh, executive director, you have some information in front of you. I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm not sure that anybody's come down from this organization. You served on the board, yay, mm -hmm. you, uh, way back. And then, uh, but I wanted to talk about what we offer. We do house endowments for nonprofit organizations and, and uh, individuals who have a philanthropic bent. Um, but we also do grants, and that's going to be specific toward the community here, uh, whether it be a nonprofit or a municipal entity. So your fire and rescue uh, and other public offices. So uh, you have a list in front of you, uh, not just our introduction, but toward the back, you're going to see the list of the grants the last four years. Next year will be our 20th year in operation. Mm -hmm. Where we get money from the grants is gaming proceeds. State of Iowa, 
So anyone who goes to the casino, since Story County does not have a casino, we get a profit share, 0.8%, um, but we are only to do that, distribute that in community betterment grants. Um, I think you were saying that the last probably big grant was 25,000 to the fire station. To the fire station a few years back. Yeah, for the new addition. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So uh, we want to see you continue to apply. Would an electronic sign be something you could apply for or not? I'm not saying you can't apply for it. I just don't know in the scheme of things if with it's 40, 50 other grants, what's going to yeah. splash out. <laughs> if we have, can we apply for a small grant as well as a bigger grant? It's up to 25,000, but we have we have uh, zero to, to uh, 10,000 is our community grants, 10 to 25 is the major grants. So we apply for both? You can apply for okay. whatever amount. You can apply for several grants if you have a grant that's $9,000 and you're with 25,000, apply for both. Okay. So, so think about what you can do. Um, we're always, we wanna spread it around. What you're gonna see, in, here, there you go. what you're gonna see is that um, Maxwell got three last year, but we tried to spread it around throughout the campus. Mm -hmm. So, I know Collins got several for their park areas. Correct. It's correct. Areas. Park betterment. And I hear you got something going on at the park. <laughs> we don't do events per se. Okay. But anything. Uh, bathroom. <laughs> We're looking at that. <laughs> for trailhead. We're looking at that and the trailhead. We're cooking up some stuff. So, that would be great for our community. So, the community and the Offer right, and here. so something like that would definitely yeah. work into it. Um, we've had several, you know, derecho trees, uh, or replanting trees if they've fallen, and, and you need to do some replanting. So there's, Great. I don't have to tell you what your community needs. Did you say it would cover for derecho trees to be removed? Hmm. You can fly, like I said, I don't know how, like how sexy it is. I don't know. Right. But you can apply. Apply. Do you have a point system that they? No, yeah, they, there's a there's a, com a committee okay. and they got a scale. Okay. But like I said, they, they first of all, I know they take into consideration what's left time you apply. Oh, okay. You know, we, we want, like I said, I spread it around. So, you know, we don't, we're not, we are located in Annie's, but we are Story County. And we get Zering and it's somewhat great to see. All of them. Okay. So I encourage you to apply in those. And like I said, if anyone knows a farmer that, you know, we do, we handle farm equipment sales. So, you know, if you do start your your uh, uh, fund and for the historical, we handle all we handle stock, livestock, farmland. We can oh really? We can handle all of that dis disbursement. That's impressive. That's because we're an affiliate of the Greater One Foundation. Oh, okay, and they, that's right. And they, as an umbrella, but they can handle all those types of things, asset transfers. So. Is it year round to make applications? Is applications are due September 16th. It's a larger grants earlier, right? Or no, there's no to... letter of intent this year. Oh, okay. So okay. September 16th is, is the deadline. Okay. For all of the grants. For all of the grants. Hmm. You can start making applications. I would say uh, June 1st is usually when people really start digging in. So really get the Okay. I do as well. The actual application is available on your website. Correct. Okay. And it is an online website. We're working on um, my latest thing. We're switching websites and all this. I'm working on the website. Yeah. But if there's any questions, just give me a I'll get you the grant application either in Word or PDF yeah. format. Okay, right on. Um,
Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, we try to make it. We try to come. Yeah. Yes. I don't want to take up too much of your time. So if you have any questions, I bet you'll be getting a lot of applications. <laughs> well, we like applications. Too few is is not good. No. And, and you know we don't like seeing we don't like repeats. So like I said, I encourage you. I know Kelly is looking at some duratio cleanup yet. Mm. Um, Zuling uh, has a uh, physician's assistant clinic that they're looking to expand the clinic. So there's competition. Oh, yeah. so put your best ideas forward. But well, let's do it. So. You guys have any questions? I'm good. You're good. What's I'm Freddy good. equipment? Freddy is fire department's Freddy is they have a robotic fire engine that they named Freddy, and it goes around. They go around to schools, and they teach fire safety with the Freddy. Mm. And what they did with the old Freddy, I don't know what they did with the old Freddy. The old Freddy was kind of on glass wheels. Huh? But uh, <laughs> but uh, okay. they had to buy a new Freddy's. So cool. But they'll go around all your schools. And, yeah, very informative. Yeah. And there's all sorts of stuff. So yeah, like I said, you have my card, you have my name number. If you want okay. to come up sometime with your names and Talk some things over. Well, where's your office at? We are in the Kyle Office Building. Oh, you moved there? Okay. Yeah. Uh, we are there. <laughs> we are not going to be moving anytime soon. Okay. Uh, we're right next to Stiffle. They're on Grand Avenue. Because you used to be in the museum. We used to be there, and then we used to be in the research park, and the research oh. park bouncing around three different locations within the research park in eight months. And then they finally got a permanent home. So good. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no home. <laughs> so, but I thank you. Thank, thank you for you. your time. Thank, thank you very you. much. Can I see the camera? Yes, I'm right up above your computer, Barb. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> All right, moving on to item B, approval merger of the fire and library bank accounts into city's general checking accounts. So the, would those accounts be considered department accounts yeah. within the city of Cambridge? No. No. It goes into the city's But it's a department general, but account. It, it's, that. Where all the funds go in, and that's how you base your budget. Yeah. Is what's coming yeah. in, what's allocated. Yeah, it's to help pay for everything that funds either the fire station yep. or the library. Correct. So, what do you need from us? We need an entertaining motion to approve. To approve the so motion. Second. Yes. Is there any further discussion? Roll call. Get the note, voice vote. New votes. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Okay. All right. Moving on to item C, approval of special class C retail alcohol license for Cloud Wine uh, for Cambridge Jubilee Day celebration. Do we know anything about this vendor? Yeah, she's been in Maxwell um, and she was going to be at the vendor fair that they had here, but she didn't get her license applied for soon enough. Um, the state, the first one, I'm afraid. Adam Adam said he's had her wine and it's amazing. So yeah, it's have we cool. had any events had any problems with her providing no, no, she's services? Good. She's she's good. Good. Okay. So I make a motion we approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Uh, next item D set a date for a work session with Bill Goldie on goal setting. Okay, we don't need to set a date. This is hit, this would be July or August. Okay. I was talking to him about how I asked him how other cities keep track of everything and communicate what's going on. And most cities have a city administrator. And he said he would be willing to work with us on how to do that, how to keep a strategic list. Maybe in July or August. So that's all. 
Does that require a work session or can you just come and meet just to go over stuff like your development group comes in and you want to do a Zoom session and okay. do like a consulting thing? Okay. So it doesn't require then a work session or a council meeting. Whatever you want to do, whatever's legal, I don't know. Well, work session requires your council members to be there. If you just do a session for we can do that. Okay. But it wouldn't be till July or August. And he charges for this, so he like seventy five dollars for an hour. Does he think it will only last an hour? No, it said seventy five dollars an hour. So I don't know. He's gonna send up a proposal. So okay, we don't okay. have to do anything with this right now. So not till July or August. Right. Would uh would Rick Pickback be able to help us some on this since he's involved with all the other communities around? Well, yeah, I could tell him he needs to attend. Or just get ready. Well, I think uh, uh, Bill. Bill's done more of this uh, city administrative stuff. I don't yeah. think Greg's done that kind of stuff. Well, we can talk about it. Sure. I'll ask Greg. All right, moving on to item E. This is bulk water. Mm -hmm. Motion to approve ordinance 24B. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 That's an ordinance change for requires a void bill. bill. Yeah, roll bill. Um, McCree? Yes. Winscott? Yes. Knight? Absent. Mackey? Yep. Bassett? Yes. And actually, since it's an ordinance change, this is our first reading. Okay. Um, so then they, you guys can choose if you want to waive the second and third or have a second uh, meeting, then do a second reading. That's up to you guys. I'd like motion to waive the other meetings. No. Second. Okay. Waive. So motion by Bassett. Yep. And Massey said in a second by Mackey. Just do roll call because I'm not sure on this one. McGreen. Yes. Winscott. Yes. Knight is absent. Mackey. Yep. And Bassett. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. All right. Moving on to the of ordinance number 24-C by amending the code of ordinances of the city of Cambridge, Iowa, by amending provisions pertaining to temporary vacancies. Now I want to make a motion to pull this ordinance from the agenda. What do you want to do with it? No. You want to table it? it? Or what do you want to do with it? I want to, I think it needs to be reworded and okay. so that can be table in it so okay. that it comes okay. back up in the next meeting. We want to put a date so on that next meeting. So what you can do now is you ask Rick to be table. Right. And then you have a discussion. We can go right into a discussion of okay. what we would be interested in doing. So we know if we need to modify it, um, what everybody okay. votes to do. I make a motion we table it. Are we wanting to put a time on that? I don't know. Has anybody seconded it? No, I'll second. Looks like they don't. Motion to table. Yeah, table to the next month. Next month's uh, meeting. Sure. Yes. You're, you're one council member short tonight, so. Okay. But do do you want to have any discussion at all on sure. why we're tabling yeah. it, what Absolutely. we want different, so that everybody has an idea going into oh, okay. So do you want me to say where I, I want to table it or to start the discussion? Or, yeah, just to say I would like to table it because I have some. Okay. I have some concerns with this because it doesn't address uh, ordinance. It doesn't address shutoff issues on properties, abandoned properties, or vacant rental properties, and those are my concerns. Also, when I shut off my electricity, I don't get charged for just sitting there without electricity. So, 
that's an analogy that I, if you have water and shut it off, I don't know why you would get charged because the view maintained up to the road or wherever you shut it off. So I think we should make the shut off or the reconnect fees higher instead of. So the, the temporary vacancy does not apply to disconnect people for non use of non payment of their bill. This is a temporary vacancy. If somebody leaves, but it's okay. Rental properties. It would apply to that. It would apply to rental properties, correct? And how long is temporary? If I leave a house for three right. years, right? That's a section of ordinance we need to clean up. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. We need to yeah. When you figure out what is a temporary, is there, it has to be so much time because, uh, you know, right? Thirty days shouldn't be considered a temporary vacancy, right? They need to be gone for an extended period of time. Right. So so what, is, what, what is that time? Winter. You 60, know, 90, 180? Uh, uh, three years. <laughs> I'm going to do some research. Some towns don't allow that at all. They, You pay that service fee because this the city maintains the lines throughout the town year round. And so, that, so, that so does the lion energy. And I don't get charged when I shut off my electric. But the lion utility to the city, though, either. They're, they're in still, private, they're, but they're private. Utility. You're not I think the service fee should be charged all year long. You know, yeah. like you're making the choice to leave and you can shut off certain things, but we still have to maintain them. There's still cracks and stuff that could potentially happen. But up to the road is what you maintain. If, if it breaks from the shut off to my house, the city doesn't have any responsibility on that. Right. But it's when you leave. For vacation and come back four months later, uh, it, it's to be able to just turn a valve and, and have water right That's now. where we should have Everybody a higher else. charge, higher charge for that return on fees. That's so that's that's my decision. what what type of a fee would you look at for the shut off and then the turn back on? I don't know what we have right now. What, there, Do we have a fee? there is no, the only one there's water's disconnected for non payment. We don't have a fee for temporary. For temporary. They just say they're going to be gone and we make it inactive. And that's where we should have a fee. The only, the only problem is, is I think it needs to have something in their wording yeah. that it has to be shut off at the curb. You can't leave the water on because if you're gone and they have a water leak right. in your home, that it has to be shut off at the curb. Right. And have you done that for all the snowbirds that when they leave? No. So that would be a, another thing. So then you wouldn't have to define temporary. So there's a shut off fee and a connect fee. But that's why we need, then we'd have to decide what kind of a fee are we talking right. about. Right, right. So do you want me to do some research into what other cities charge? I just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily be in favor of an increase in turn on fees because Joe Tenpeg gets it turned on, he doesn't plan on leaving or going anywhere. Why should he pay more to have his water turned on? But did he shut it off? No, well, he just started renting here or he bought a home here. Oh, maybe well, that's a different... Well, yeah, but you... But, and maybe I misunderstood you. But you had mentioned, you know, increase the turn-on fee. If you're leaving... Yeah, so there's... Yeah. I didn't hear that. For temporary vacancy. I just wanted to, I wanted to be yeah. abundant. Great. Yeah. Great. So yeah. what's the charge to get a connection for new people? For water and sewer hookups? $175. Okay. I think there should be a timeline in there because then where, where do you go from abandonment? They've right. been gone for but eight I, to nine months. I mean, are we abandoned now and just letting it sit there? Uh, yeah, and I think it also encourages so you don't have empty buildings sitting around. See, I think the whole ordinance is faulty right now. We don't even, I don't. It's kind of vague. Yeah, I, I don't think we need to move forward with it because it's too vague. I think we need to work on it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Be more specific with it. I think there needs to be some timelines on how long is considered a temporary vacancy. Yeah. You know, a yeah. minimum of three, four months. And what's the minimum? What would the minimum be? Or just do it, and then just do six months max. And if you're gone for six months, you can be a what's temporary the charge for 
there is a, that's what you're saying. If you right. allow that, they have to be gone. But there has to be a person that's gone for six months. Right. Then they're, that's considered a temporary vacancy. Anything underneath that? But what would their payment be per month if they're six months, they're gone? They wouldn't. That's where you're saying oh. not have to charge them right. anything. Right. right. I It'll think be. they should have a, a turn off fee for the public works guys to have to go right. shut the water off right. at the shut off valve thinking, at the yeah. street. So we don't have to worry about months. something leaking into the house for four months while they're gone. Is there a concern? I guess most people leave during the winter if you're going to leave. Right. That by just turning water off to the house, that that's what we did. We just shut it off in the house. That when we turn it back but on, on, then all of a sudden, because over winter, you know, like this winter, we had a mild winter, no issues. But, but my first winter, it was miserably cold. And so now we have, and maybe, I don't know. And so that's why I'm asking. Is there a concern then by just allowing people just to turn water off for six months at the curb? Mm -hmm. Not even just like money for the city, you know, concern, but just turning water off. Well, and at the street, now we're going to have potential issues with lines. And when Dale or Adam turn it back on, now we find cracks and stuff. Well, be that's there. still your problem if you're the homeowner. Well, my also concern is a lot of your revenue bonds are based on what a person pays month. That's where you come up with that service fee because you have your bonds that you're paying. And now if you are letting people not be here, not bringing in that revenue to pay those bond fees. But how many people are there that leave? Um, 10? 10 people. Probably less than 10. Five? Yeah. 10. But that was three hundred dollars a month. You're charging them three hundred a month? No, that ten oh. people. It's, it's oh, it's twenty two dollars for sewer service charge and fourteen dollars for four months is twelve hundred dollars. For four months, it's three hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I struggle with just not charging them anything. I was gone for two and a half weeks, and I still had to pay sewer and stuff like. Right. Well, it's just the maintenance of the line. Right. Like everybody else is paying for that line. That's, that's yeah. you're coming back to and having the convenience of turning the valve on and it's it's there. It's working. It's instant. You're not paying any water but usage yeah. fee. You're just paying but the service fee that the maintains line. I'm not paying for that. I guess I don't. I don't know. I that's don't a city it. utility, though. Well, that's a there. It's a private utility. So that's why is that different? It's a different company because it's taxpayer dollars. Right. Here and twelve hundred dollars. Okay, twelve hundred. Well, so will I. But I think it should be in his work to turn on or the public works. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Uh, but we're just saying while they're gone, but while people works. are gone. How much would it be? Forty dollars a month when they're gone. It's thirty-six. Thirty-six dollars a month. Yeah, gone. Thirty-six dollars a month just to help maintain it. In my opinion, then you shouldn't be traveling. I mean, it's part of being a homeowner and stuff. Like, there's certain things, like, like if you, you rent a house, you know, like, like there's certain things that the homeowner takes care of. Right. It's the cost of doing business. So, but then, you know, how much? And $36 what's, a month. I and mean, and what's temporary? Right. That's the thing. And but, if we have a fee for turn off and turn off for temporary, then we have that. It doesn't matter how long we're going. I would say, I mean, I know we're not voting and stuff tonight, but if we're allowing them, my opinion, to turn on, turn off, then that fee needs to be insanely high to cover the $36 a month fee. So it could be 72 to turn off and 72 to shift turn off. And just then we don't have to figure out what temporary is. Susan said, I'm going to say, well, is this temporary? So, yeah. We definitely need to. Because so somebody's temporary could be very different than somebody else's. Okay. So three months. Anyway. Okay. What 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 would you do with an E five and a guard who gets deployed? There's another situation. Is his family still there though? <clears throat> Maybe I'm maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. It's one of like my situation. You could be saying there's right. a is there a way that you each person bring it in front of the council for a 
I would say approve, you could put maybe approve, like to request to approve a special condition. Special, yeah, special condition. conditions. Yeah, that's what I would say. <laughs> so you say that, Mike. So what now if they were a veteran? Does it go that same way? No, because they're it's not active. They're 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 they're, they're, leaving. they're leaving home is a choice that they're making. Deployment. deployment is not a choice. No. Deployment is an order. Right. Wow. I do. Well, you're not. Well, not here. Here. <laughs> <laughs> you so I think yeah. instead of a monthly fee, we could put it in the turn off and turn on. So it'd be if we did seventy dollars for turning it off and seventy dollars for turning it on, that'd be the same amount of income. One hundred forty or so. Basically, what they're going to pay just to pay their right. maintenance. But then if we don't have to define temporary. I moved to close the discussion okay. and, and move look on. To, to bring a little more solid detail the next time we get together. Okay. That's about it. Okay. Somebody said it? I do. She only said it. We'll we have to close it. Oh, okay. Well, she motions to table it. No, it's just a discussion. It's all underneath this. So all under you just move on. Well, they they sure. table it. We're going to table it to a date then? Do we need it to comes up the next meeting. Anytime you just talk table about it, it and then they ask for it to be back on the agenda again is when you bring it back off the table. Maybe you table it to a point, though, to a date. You no. no, not necessarily. I, I did a lot of the Puxley's minutes and they had a uh, an item on the agenda they tabled in, they didn't bring it back for like four months. So do we wait and attach it to another work session if we have one? That's what yeah, I would say probably is a work session yeah, where more information can details. be gathered and okay. sounds good. Yeah, that's what I would recommend. You want to make a note of that? Yeah. To a work session. All right. Any further discussion with that? Nope. Moving on to G, with a discussion and motion to approve the proposal of base point building automation and or walled door and security for the install of the handicapped doors at the Cambridge Community Center entrance. So I just chit chat it. We gotta do a motion. Oh, we'll motion. Yeah. How much is the grant for again? Yeah. 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 Can we use that money, the leftover money, for other stuff? Or does it go back? Yeah, but we so waived. Right. Okay. Right, and but you can use that. Yeah, because I put in other things. I put in other things for to put our fire and things to family to help. And do we need to consider the expense of the electrical contract? I think we can that in, but I didn't have a bid yet. We don't have a bid yet. And then, yeah. Okay, so this is just for install, but then there was tables. An additional electrical bit yeah. too. Mm -hmm. We'll go G down here. And when we were discussing this earlier, was it your sense that the base point guy seemed to know his business and moved his way around with regard to putting the door in and understanding what the code was, especially being ADA compliant? Yes. So yes. That was, yeah, yeah. And I and I pre-discussed and decide which one they were out we there and then we think a vote on to approve. And do we have a yeah, with, but I, do we have a history <laughs> with walls, door, and security? What's that? Do we have a history with walls, door, and security? I know they have it under the last Yeah. Not open what, what a good experience. Was it? I did not. I mean, it wasn't they, a good experience. No. Okay. Okay. But that would be more of that. Okay. I don't have to say that one. So, we have a motion. Get a motion. I have done. I'm just discussing it. Okay. I don't know what. I make, a, I make a motion to approve base point building. Is that second? Okay, now I'm going to for discussion. We just discussed it. We <laughs> kind of did that backwards. But well, I wasn't so did you already that. talk about all this then? Yep. Okay. There, she's got they have to get another bid for yep. yep. Okay. But are we looking to approve this one before May 31st? Which is the, the lower one? Would you rather us wait? 
and approve both the electrical and the door installation at the same time. So we oh, so get it done, done before the third. May 31st is the deadline. Yeah. To accept that bid. And it's, yeah. So the other one to discuss is to get it installed, and then the electrician can come here and see it and give you a bid. Okay. Correct. Okay. But yeah, I'm all for approving that bid and getting him in here to make the installation. So Lightning Bolt can come in and figure out how to look up the power. <laughs> All right. And then do we need two bits again for electrical? Probably. You got two to put it in. It will be a good idea to have at least two to yeah. compare. Yeah. Never. No, I said. Oh, is it a motion to approve? Yep. Yep. Motion motion in. Um, McGreen made the motion back in the second. Okay. All in favor for the approval of base point, base point building automations. Say aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Is there, um, Dale was just saying that maybe there's a bit of a sign to me. Okay. Um, yep. Oh, okay. He's calling. He has his email. That's fine. I didn't okay. know that, so that was fine. Yeah. Just call him and tell him it's been approved. Well, it looks like there's something inside on the second page. Yeah. I'm sure they'll have to, but they didn't say how soon. They'd be able to get it going today. Made it sound like they. Anytime. Since the cruise. Yeah, yeah that's, that's how I understand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks again for doing that. That's going to be a huge amenity of the community. So we're going to be having that. Yeah, it's coming. Us. Lord Matter, was that both doors? Yes. That, it, so it'll open both doors up. Is it just one button and it opens both of the entrance doors? Or is there two separate buttons? It sounds like there's two out, two in, or two outside, two in. Okay. To make it. But nothing to open up the library door? No. Into the library. Okay. Okay. This we'll does those two front doors. We'll have okay. to get another grant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Start now. Great. Yeah. All right, we'll move on to discussion items. We have the ICAP hail damage repairs update. So I got another email, and I keep this like the fourth one. And each time we bring this up, we don't have anything. They're asking for a report on where we're at on any of our hail damage repairs. We broke on the Opera House. Um, and the couple other buildings that were reported. What else did you have for other buildings? I, th I think it was the water plant. Right over here. Yeah, the old, I don't know if the old city hall was on there. It seemed like there were three or four. Buildings. I don't think the old city hall was. I don't think the old city hall was. Was it just the window and the tin work on the side of that small building? We're going to do something with that. We're going to use some of that to, to take out that window that was all broke on it. Oh, yeah. We'll just yeah, we'll get that. But I think most of it was the resealing of that opera house. And so you took that flyer of that, uh, yep. that sale and I had that other company that does it. So you found another company? Found that, another guy. He was actually working on Hillsdale and doing the exact same thing. Yeah. So we just need to call him and have to get a quote. Right, right. So go ahead and take care of so that. So I was supposed to do that. Yep, no, Dale wants yeah. to call him. Yep, I'll get a yeah. quote. Oh. Do you have a still copy or do you need that flyer back? No, nope, I ain't a graphic. Okay. Uh, okay. So the Did, Did, you Did, you Phil's, Phil's, Did you see Phil's? Did you see Phil's roof after he did it? I did not no. look at it. Okay. So, so it was the Opera House. And maybe the water plant. I think one of the water plant. I can pull it up. It, it'll if she has a list, then we can look it over um, and see if what we want, want to report. I, one of the roofs. I thought you guys said that you weren't going to do anything with it. So the opera house, the opera house deal. There is, you know, you know well that the company that did it, Pro Seal. As soon as somebody else touches it, they're going to be free of that. Then they'll be totally free of it. So I, I think that's the reason why we held off on it for a while. But. Shouldn't our attorney be, didn't it have come with a, a warranty? It did come with a warranty. So shouldn't our attorney be reaching out to their company saying they warranted it this and we asked them to come back? We don't have an attorney. <laughs> huh? I said, how's that work? <laughs> we don't have an attorney right now, do we? I we do. Yeah, we still have an attorney. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll reach out to 
Oh. Yeah, that's just going to take uh, the contractor. He'll, I mean, he'll it's going to let you know that when your insurance get, company yeah. is asking for this and we can't get them to answer us. So if he can light a fire somewhere, it's for us to get this, to be able to get the roof. I think we should just <laughs> go with the other vendor. I think we should just go with the other vendor. Thing. See what he says. See what he says. All right, is there any further discussion with the ICAP? Moving on to debris management planning for local officials. I think I included that in the back of you guys' packet. There was, um, it's just a slight thing about debris management planning for cities in case there was ever a, you know, a big. So do Adam and Dale want to go to that? Look where it's at. I don't think we can send both our public works well, guys to one, be gone on the same. Maybe they one of them. I mean, it's not going to do any good for me to go and try to tell people what to do. No, I think it's more of getting a like probably like a, a committee of people to together that would be in charge. Well, what is the plan if it happens? Where could your residents go if they don't, you know, have power or you know, food or so the mayor oh, I thought that was part of the, the public EOC of their names, or not EOC, Nevada. Emergency yeah, management. that was kind of their plan. Is that what it is? But that came to all the cities for, right. you know, for in your own local town if something happens. Where is it at? Hard, I, Esterville. How far away is Esterville? Oh, it's three right hours. Three hours. Three hours. Isn't it Holy three hours? It's like South Dakota. <laughs> like yeah, heaven. Nobody wants to go to South Dakota. Maybe we can. <laughs> hey, maybe we can help. see if they're going to be <laughs> having one any closer, so we don't have to travel three hours. For I, I think it's all day though, isn't it, Barbara? Yeah, two days. Four thirty. So you'd have to. Is it one day or two days? It does say you, you can request that. for them to pay for lodging. They do have. Yeah, they can pay for lodging. I saw that somewhere too. They can get it. It said. If, for lodging reimbursement if you travel in excess of 50 miles. Yeah, it didn't cost anything. Roy and I don't know. You better clear that with the boss first before you go. Uh, go uh, yeah. I right. think that. Do you think, Dale, no. is, would it do any good for you guys to go? Or? No, that's a lot of time. Yes. Plus, a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It just came in an email. So I'm oh, trying okay. to make sure I get this information out to okay. people because it's coming up right. in July. But I, I think it would be later. good, but if hopefully there's something closer. Yeah. Right. Well, right. they surely got another one somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. It's Here. three days. Right. It's three three days. days. Wow. I'm I'm guessing it's probably for your uh, more geared toward your bigger cities. I don't but know. I don't know. I've never. Anyway, thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. to the annual examination of the FY24. Yeah. So there's also a copy of the letter um, that we've been notified that we will also have to have an audit for this current year fiscal year 24 right. and it says we have to put in if we're going to use the state for it or if we are going to do an RFP which we did last year and we're doing this year um but you have to this form I have to fill out so that's why I put it in front of the council to um, we plan on hiring a financial audit so this I wasn't understanding. We are having a financial audit in lieu of an annual examination. What does that mean? Are you what asking us? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's I've never had that brought to us before. It just says you're up for an audit. Right. And you can either have the state or you can well, go up for an RSP. Yeah, that's just that's planning on doing for us. We're going to take it upon ourselves and do our own. But it says we will be contacting a private CPA firm. That's that choice. Okay. But this one says we're planning on having a financial audit instead of an annual examination. Hmm. Should I reach out to another city and ask them what that actually means? 
Because I mean, maybe it's not as intensive. You know, might save us some money if it's more like an overview because we've passed. Since we're required to have an annual examination. We plan to have a financial audit instead of the annual instead of the annual hmm. examination that the That's fine. state this does. Would be that, that one the is really in-depth, like looking at everything, and then one is more overview. The right? financial audit. That's yeah. what I think too. That's what name a firm that we're going to use the same one that we used the last two years. Yeah, that would work. But isn't the company we use a CPA firm? I would imagine. Yeah. So that's why there's that's included in both those choices. That's why I wanted to you guys. Uh, and we found out that hiring someone ourselves is less expensive than going through the state. Oh, absolutely, yeah. almost half price. Yeah. yeah. So that's great. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just one. check them, but it was due by May thirty first. So we'll check which one. <laughs> yeah, it was half, and they even gave us our recommendations on it, but. The company we used last year, they were really good. Okay. Yeah, they were. He wasn't really good. I would just use the same company. Okay. I will keep that. Moving on to nuisance abatement conference, May twenty third, Simpson College in Indianola. So, who has? Barb and Michelle and I have already been to that. Been I didn't know if any of them were. Who's kind of working on our nuisance debate? Uh, Dave was. That's why I was wondering if maybe Dave would want to attend that. <laughs> Dave is home. Yes. Yeah, he's home. When is that? May 23rd? That way. That's how he feels. He says, says he's doing really well. So. Oh, okay. I saw him out. Yes. So maybe I'll reach out to Dave and ask him if he's interested in going to that since okay. he missed this meeting. All right. Okay. Yeah, I got a lot of I did. Yeah, still good. Um, actually, I have the notes still. Second MLA conference that they had. But didn't they have new since they did that? And they did the first one. They did the first one or the yeah. second one? You know what? I did. Well, that was the second one. The first one was just you know, what your duties were and stuff. So that was the second one. I know it had a lot of last week. It really didn't. No, not the second. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but. Oh, did you say part two? Yeah, part two. And it might be. It didn't date build that already? Part two. He did for the part two. But this is a much more extensive. This is very detailed one. This is specifically just on nuisance abatement and how you can um, do different things to manage different types of nuisances. Hmm. Is there anybody else interested in going? When is it again? May 23rd. School's not out yet. Yeah. <laughs> Interested, but I can't. Is it all day? Yeah, it's all day. And they, they feed you lunch. Working? <laughs> they feed you. 23rd of Thursday. What's next week? I'll reach out to Dave. See if he's interested at all. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we have so many good deadlines for people's uh, window. Doesn't it cost at least like seventy five dollars? And... Nuisance abatement, eighty dollars, and May twenty third, Simpson College in Indianola, just the one day, eighty dollars. Okay, is there any further discussion on nuisance abatement conference? Mm -hmm. Moving on to staff wages increase. And I gave everyone a printout. Um, mm -hmm. Maxine, we had our work session. Uh, there, the discussion of was 3%. Um, and then the discussion with um, Randy in the cemetery mowing. And we included that in there. So it was just something for you guys. That's, these are the figures. 
that we had plugged into the budget. Mm -hmm. That's three percent. And then for three percent across, yep. Three percent were Dale, Adam, myself, P. Um, the assistant clerk, we didn't increase that any because right now we have kind of lost our assistant clerk, so we didn't change that at all. We're probably rehiring. Um, Lori, we did her wage increase earlier. Um, and then Alyssa gave her notice at the library also, so we didn't move that one up. And then we moved uh, Randy's for Small and Little Cemetery. I proposed this before, and I'm okay doing just 3% this year, but my suggestion, what I really like is taking kind of the philosophy of what Ames does is like department heads, everybody, everybody in the city, whether it's part time, or, you know, no matter what, you get a 3% cost of living um, raise. But then what I really liked in Ames was for the department heads who have kind of that bigger responsibility and, you know, they are salaries or they're not getting overtime, is that there's a performance review every April and you could, based on your performance for the previous year, can get up to 5%. Mm -hmm. And so I think in addition to the 3% cost of living. So you get for sure three, but say like, you just had a like amazing year, then you could get like 4.5% or 4.3. Right. Not on top of the three. Not on top of the three, but uh, the max. Not to exceed five. Not to exceed five, but, yeah. it, and it's just the department heads. And right. so, because they just have that bigger responsibility. Uh, right. And I like it, it's performance-based. Right. And right. so, but you you get 3% just every year. That's right. cost of living. Right. But I do think, I mean, especially knowing like what Susan and Dale and Lori put into the library. I think giving them that opportunity right. to get a little more money is beneficial. Yeah. So I, we're too late in the game this year, right. but I do want to propose that for the next year. I think it's important. Um, again, take care of your people. And so um, Ames does it. I don't know if anybody else does it, but it worked really well in Ames and Performance reviews, I think, should just be in general every person, but more important for our department heads. So, just wanted to throw that out there with the pay raises going forward. But yeah, three percent should be minimum for everybody. So, do we have to approve that? Or that that was just discussion, but to for. No, for me to give you the sheets of okay. where it would be at, and then I'll put it on June's agenda for the approval of that. Okay. Um, then we'll have the motion and second. Okay. All right. Moving on. Sorry for the <laughs> record. It's an hour tonight for you guys. It's probably all. I thought you were going to leave. I don't it. know. Sometimes we've had much shorter agendas. It's been way past now. So, yeah. right. right. We'll keep moving <laughs> tonight. All right. We'll start with the library. Um, well, we um, just found out that we are accredited another three years. So, I'm excited about that. So, we are at the highest tier level, number three again until 2027. You have to go through the accreditation process every three years. So, um, that is wonderful, and that helps with the funding and um, just recognition, obviously, for the library. Um, one of the grant requirements was to have a community conversation about how the grant money should be spent. Um, and so we had uh, 14 residents attend the meeting, uh, four of which have physical disabilities. And it was a great meeting. Barb was there too. So it was nice to have a nice council there too. Um, many ideas and suggestions were given. Everyone there was very happy and excited about um, the handicapped doors coming in. And they said not only, you know, obviously to get into the library, but to come to vote, you know, come into the community center. Mm -hmm. um, we also um, have a great summer program planned. 
Um, it will begin with the open house on Saturday, June 8th with the Jubilee celebration. Um, just like last year, um, we had the library open a little bit longer after the parade, and then um, I have Texas Roadhouse coming in again to do prizes and things like that, and that was a big hit. Um, we, as um, Susan mentioned, Alyssa just sent, put in her two-week notice, so um, yes, I will be hiring. Um, so I know there was talk about doing a high school student too. So I guess I kind of wanted, I, I cannot have a high school student on me on a Saturday, they cannot get alone. Mm. Uh, that's not legal. So, um, so an idea was maybe I thought we, the library and I board talked about maybe having high schooler help with Tuesdays and Wednesdays with the big program because I, 10 to 75, 80 people come on a Tuesday during the summer, and at least 35 to 40 on a Wednesday, and then maybe have someone on Saturday, and then they could take over the hours after high school or couldn't. That was one idea. I do have a couple people interested, which is huge, because I don't always have someone interested. <laughs> um, we also um, added five new patrons in April. Each month we're getting more and more from Elkhart, so I'm very happy about that. Um, I would like to meet with their new city planner and to see what else we can do to promote our library. Elkhart feel even more welcome. Um, our door count this month in April was 276. We had 17 programs with 157 participants attending. So, um, we definitely have people coming in library, so I'm very happy about that. So with with you being full time now, have we thought about have you thought about doing different hours now, like yes. a weekend or any, or later in the evening? Okay. We I don't have all that settled yet with the board, but yes. Okay. I mean, kind of surveying some people too, seeing what would best work with that. We'll definitely open up on Thursdays, obviously, since we're not open now on Thursday. Um, but we're yes. Have you put it out there for question on on uh, maybe like suggestions on on to the community on what hours might work? Uh, yes, I'm gonna put that on like a Facebook survey too. Okay. And then I kind of started doing when people come in the library and just kind of writing down their comments too. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Oh, and Barb, I just sent you, I just, so we'll be working on a next newsletter. Yeah, I just sent that to you today. Yeah, I saw that, thank you. We'll get that out. Okay. Is there any further questions or discussion for library? Uh, it's moving on to fire. Let's see, Matt here. Do you know anything? We've got four people that are winding up or winding down on their EMT. They're getting right to the end of it. So I think the last one's finished the right time and quick, or they're just waiting for the test, which is very soon. So it sounds like all four of them are doing very good. Great. Right. So we'll have four minutes, hopefully. So, yeah. All right, moving on to police. Is there anything extra, Joe? You have a to report? No, uh, I had Dylan here just gonna introduce yeah. him to everybody. I think he met someone here before the meeting, but okay. he's out of the academy and on his own. Okay, uh, we got two cars up and running. So. Okay. He had to go, did he? What's that? He had to leave? Yeah, yeah, he's on duty, so. Oh. Had something going on. All right, we'll move on to public works. Uh, <clears throat> had a couple water issues last Saturday and, and sewer problem on Saturday. And uh, another water one popped up today and that's going to take care of tomorrow. So, okay. they got fixed as far as that. Okay. Is it mostly roots and that type of thing, or what? The one was one was a hit from the electric. Oh, that's right. And my the right. other one was uh, yeah. was roots. Was roots. I don't know if you know this. I was thinking about this today. Is Michael's taking out the old holes? 
the ones they're not going to use. Stone yeah. wheels. So, okay. yeah. so, so it's it's hard hard to say. are they basically done in town? They got trans. They're still with the transport. Okay. So, but but they must have got a big shipment of the a bunch of trucks moved back today. So it looked like high level trucks. So they must be going to start cutting them. While we're on public works, several people have been asking, you guys brought it up the last council meeting. I've had a lot of people ask me about scrap metal day and what you guys have decided on that. Mm -hmm. I vote um, no. No. But I have a different opinion. I vote yes. But would it differ? Well, then I'm going to spread no collection day. I think the rules need to be put in place, and I don't know if the park shop is the best place for it because there is no gate. Yeah. Uh, uh, Donna Kalman stopped in the office today and told me there was some company um, that you can call them, and they came and picked up like people's recliner that they were getting rid of, and there was no fee for it. So she was going to get me that phone number. So. Uh, what month did you guys do this in the four? June. That's what I thought. So. And we tried to plant, well, the garage sale days is earlier this year. May. Uh, but, you know, last year we tried to combine it pretty close. I think it was yeah. a week apart. Like we had the garage right. sale days and then the metal cleanup. It's kind of like a whole community cleanup. It was about a whole county cleanup. Yeah, everybody came. That's what it was. So, this so company, do we wanna, will this company go door to door and pick up junk? I don't, I, no, I think that had I to mean, be called. Just drive she was going to give me the phone number. She was, um, I don't know if you could say the best day. I don't know how that works. But. But because it used to be you could put the junk on the curb and somebody would drive by and just pick it up. And a lot of scavengers would just go out and pick up if they want. Yeah. I'm, so that's. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people I do it. A lot of people do that. Yeah, that's, that's a, if you have that kind of junk day, then it's not all dumped. Yeah, the but then who goes around and picks right. all that? Right, but then you have to guarantee it's picked off the curb. Yeah, who goes around and picks all that? Well, that's up? Okay. Late, later. It used to be volunteers, but like, would the company do that? I don't know. That might be something. So who, 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 I get the phone number from Donna, and I'll be more than happy to pass it on to somebody. I'll, I'll give them a call. Okay. And I mean, I, I mean, I'm right, 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 right now. I would year. say we're probably so, it's getting too late for us to get one scheduled. Probably not in June. We might have to push it back. But I mean, we talked about last yeah. year expanding it, and that's where I think it's been because it was supposed to be a community cleanup, and right. you know, like because I reached out to tire companies last year, and the the uh, citizens would have to pay, but it was $3 a tire, where now it's not sitting in somebody's yard. Right. And so right. uh, I think it needs to be more secure and it needs to be better planned than what we did in the past. But I think just scrapping it because we have just an open facility is not the right thing to do either. But I think the junk on the curb if we had somebody who went and picked but them. then you have to guarantee people pick the junk off yeah, the curb when they no did. no but when nobody picks up your junk. I think that was the fault the uh, volunteer fire department did it one year way back in the day, 20 or 30 oh, years ago. Okay. Went around and picked up everybody's stuff and I don't think we need to use them like that. That's no, right. no. I wonder if this company would do that. That's what I was saying. For free? I don't know. Yeah, that Donna maybe they counted yeah, them is that they came to that. some people's house and picked up a recliner and something else. And I don't know about for free though. I mean, because what are they benefiting off of it? Like at least it. the metal, you can they, they, they do it for free. They don't charge us because they're taking they around it. making money off of it. The tires, they're not making money off of it. So that's where they have to put the cost back on people. What money are you going to get off of a recliner? And that's disgusting. Well, I'm not going to put scrap metal on the curb or that kind of. I'll so, just we can give them a call again. Every time they're doing it anymore, I got some more set up number on it. No, I think they use a scrap metal. Just do it like the problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you going to send a number to me? Or see what scrap prices are first. Oh, maybe the city can make some money. <laughs> <laughs> Scraps never up. It doesn't it's make down. money. Oh, is it? It's always down. It's down. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, you call that? I'll, you call it? You want to call yeah. it? You call the same okay. company last year or something like that? Donna. You have Donna's number, don't you, Molly? I, I think I have. Taylor, you want me to send Donna? Yes, please. Yeah. Any further questions? Discussion with the public works. 
We'll move on to communications. Okay, we have a newsletter coming out, and um, Lori's already sent me her half, so the city okay. has a half. What, is that going to be for June? Newsletter for June or July? Well, as soon as we May. May? We're not going to mail it. We'll just put it on post okay. it. Put it on the social media sites. Yeah. And... I was okay. going to ask hey, that if, like, because I know the last time it was sent with bills. Right. But I don't get a bill down. So if it would, if it's possible to we'll put it, we'll put it City Hall and Post Office. Yeah. And then I, I, know, I had a Zoom meeting with the flood management people from the DNR. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll post that on the website when they finalize it because it talked about what we could do on North Street by your down at the end of Ray Street. And what to do with the lagoon to protect the lagoon. So when that they're finished, it's called real time technical assistance. That was for like the hundred year flood though, right? Hundred year, twenty-five and ten. But they didn't factor in that we had a storm sewer system. Mm -hmm. So I was gonna send them whatever you send me. Oh, you, as soon as they can well, don't work. worry, there's a, yeah, they're not real quick either. They're not real quick either. I, I don't think they're, <laughs> yeah. they're not waiting on the edge of their seat. Yeah. As soon as you get something, just send it to me. There's uh, some books that sent in the house. In the library, there's also, um, we were sent by the story county things on flooding and uh, other pamphlets, by everything on that kind of thing. Right. Uh, so yes. that people can always look at them. They're, Every library was set them, so okay. they need to look at okay. their binders. Nope. Cool. That's it. So, yeah. All right. Uh, planning and zoning. Rosalie's not here. Well, somebody else has something for planning and zoning? No, we haven't been able to make it. Okay. She's been having some first dates. Yep. Uh, cemetery. Nothing. It looks nice. It does. It does look very nice. But as far as the cost initiatives, I have not had time to run it down to make a proposal for you guys. So I'll do it for June. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Business has been booming in my day job. My bad. Move on to parks. Um, not a lot going on. The Off Road Park has their first event that's happening this Saturday from four to seven. It's called the Cambridge Mini Moto Mayhem. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like it's been received well, and there's lots of people signed up and excited about it. And I forwarded David the um, Portable restroom contact information that we use at the city so that they can get set up down there for the event. So, sounds like that's moving right along. And they are doing very well with um, sign ups for memberships. Um, it's doing good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's taking care of itself. Right. And then some. Nice. At this point, we're at the end, then some part. So it's great. It's great to hear. It sounds like us cheap is being for the cleanup and got things put together. So you want us to post that on Facebook? I, I, yes, that would be fantastic. That was one of the questions that I Where is it at? Um, this is on the core Facebook page. Okay. Okay, I'll just put them. And uh, my internet's not working in here very well, so I can only see part of it. Okay, I'll just um, find them. But yeah, if you look under the core Facebook page, the data is affiliated with. I do have a question in regards to that, not to try to like throw them under the bus. Maybe you don't know. David Fresco reached out to me about trash mm -hmm. and like getting service down there. Mm -hmm. But then I told him, you know, to reach out to Susan if we have to set it up and stuff. Never heard back. So I I noticed that when mm -hmm. those our trash picked up Wednesday. Wednesday morning or Tuesday night, they pulled bins up from board work and put it at Fresca's house. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure that they have adequate, adequate, like you said, bathroom and trash facilities down there. We need to talk trash. So especially if they're going to be doing events and stuff, for sure, they need to have trash down there. For sure, and they need to 
hook up with the city for we then notify Ankeny Sanitation. Do they want one bin? Do they want two bins? Um, and an account would have to be set up for that to go out in in billing. Okay, I I honestly think there was not the expectation of people because <laughs> <laughs> I kind of get this sense that there's a little bit of kind of catch up. Yeah, to, to get things, you know, um, which is it's a really yeah, great thing. Positive. Um, you know, so yeah, I would get a hold of him and have him get a hold of you guys. Just especially with events and stuff yeah. down there, and if it's, I, like I, with I, the like, numbers, I, really I, good. It's people got that figured out. He's yeah. asking about. I mean, he just reached out to me about the rest of the situation because yeah. he knew I went through it. So, but I'll check in. With, I mean, just yeah. It's an event. They're for charging for the racers. Right. They're charging for the people yeah. coming in. And especially since it's the city property, if they don't have enough trash cans down there, that we got the trash running around. Oh, it's not like that. They don't know. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Yeah. What's the actual name of the Facebook page? Because I'm not finding. I type Cambridge. I feel like it's Cambridge Off Road Park. Uh, okay. I pulled one up and nothing came up. Cambridge Off Dash Road Park Four C O R E. Right here, Park Four. Yeah. There you go. There it is. Okay. I go to click on it. It will make it up. You have to join to see anything. I guess here. Because... <laughs> there. Hit or miss whether I get it. And I don't know. I get sure actually, I don't want to remember to trash out. He doesn't want to catch it. There are dirty people. It is kind of like a very good. All right. Is there any other discussion for parks? I, I just have two quick questions. Well, one question I want to receive. Okay. The newsletter that you're talking about, Barb, is that a monthly newsletter? Or We're trying to make it quarterly. Quarterly? Okay. And, um, so you want it to go May or I'm just just send me what you want tickets of things about the park to you. Yep. Yeah, we're really good with deadlines. I don't have a <laughs> deadline. You don't get my deadline. Well, we wanted to get it out pretty yeah. quick. So okay, so I'll Monday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, tomorrow. I know. Yeah. That's the other thing is that yeah, I, work I is really, it. really busy for me right now. So I kind of benched the other stuff. And I feel kind of that way about the board mm -hmm. also because we had only a few attendees. The signage part that we had talked earlier in the year about, I would like to revisit that if I'm in June, but work with Mike about the trailhead. So we haven't benched it, but I just don't have time. And I know he doesn't have time. And then we kind of want to bring things together to then. I'm hoping by doing my own gifts. That'd be great. To just show some stuff and ideas. And now with this grant stuff, be searching that too, what we can do. So that's as much of an update as I've got. Okay. All right. Thank you. Cool. And what a lovely update it was. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> hey! Are we at that point where we're going to no. comment about the mayor? No, what, what, not yet. I can have a no, okay, okay. let's more. get you can honor. <laughs> so, <laughs> that last MLA class, I went to three of them, and in number three, they talked about how towns should have <clears throat> an economic development committee. Well, we don't have that. We have me, and so... Some of you know, I've already brought this up, but we talked about um, going to the, the businesses, meeting with the owners to see if, you know, anything, if there was anything that Cambridge could do mm -hmm. to help them with their business. Right. Yeah. So I ran into a couple of issues. Um, I had surgery. And so that kind of stopped that for a minute. But then I ran into another thing, and I'm not sure if the meeting is really the place to bring. I ran into some snags. Okay. Let's just put, we'll it, put it to a work session then. Yeah. To add it to the oh, some businesses agenda. Yeah. Well, that works because we have that ordinance too. Okay. 
Do we want to do a work session by the end of the month? Could we discuss that? Uh, that'd be all right. I think I'd be fine. That'd be end. But next month they won't work. We got graduate. Well, and you got Memorial Memorial, Memorial Weekend. Yeah, we said it was in June. Week. Because we got like women here. June, Thursday. Monday. 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 Do we meet during the day? Will everybody be? No. I got a full time job again. Oh, so. oh okay. Well, congratulations. Thanks. Back to the one thing. Well, if you want to still meet in May, the last weekend in May, would you say the show on Wednesday? Would you say Wednesday? Oh, is it, like the 29th? Mm -hmm. Is it Wednesday? May. <clears throat> okay. I can't meet before 1800. What time is that? Six. <laughs> and I don't know that I'm going to, I have to take some time off or I'm going to lose some vacation time. Oh, I don't have to get it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 take that. I mean, you guys can, somebody else can take minutes. June 5th, or somebody else can take minutes. Yeah, the 29th or the 5th works for me. So, which is it? June 5th. Susan wants to take some time off. From okay. Here. Zero five June, what time? I can't. I won't be here till six. I can't be here. Yeah, six. I can't be here. Can you do six thirty? I won't. Heck yeah. Six thirty. Yeah. When are you going? What was the date? I work yeah. on Wednesday, so. Yeah. Yeah. Wednesday. Wants to know if to see me. Okay. I can't see. Six thirty. Put a thing out. Oh, Thank you. All right. Right. Six thirty. Yep. Okay. Is there any further discussion for finance or economic development? That's all I have. Then we will move on to Mayor Council comments. What do you have, Mike? Um. Did Story Construction pull permits for the work that you're doing at the school? Uh, it's not for us. Should be. Oh, yeah. Never seen anything? No. Nothing. That's my friends. No. no. They came, Story Construction came and asked for water, where water lines and stuff were, but they did not pull any permits. And we don't want to run into the same kind of problems that we've run into with not having permits. Well, I don't know that they need, well, they probably need permits for those great big temporary classrooms, but they sure as hell aren't going to need permits to do the kind of renovations for the HVAC system that they're planning to do. Yeah, they need to get, so I don't know how, I, the only reason I would know this is that building safety, what do you have? The people safety buildings. are operating out of one spare bedrooms. <laughs> So it'll be said to me, she goes, ah, Dad, I don't think there's any permits. Do we need to head knock somebody and say, hey? No, we said, because we don't want to get into this same no situation instance. two, three years from now when someone's like, where are the permits for this? Well, how long are those going to be there? A year? And then they're going to remove them? Uh, we'll all the fifth graders will be attending classes in those temporary buildings all next year. Okay. And then they're going to be removed after that. And then they will be removed and the rock will be taken out of the green space. Okay. Kind of curious. I was curious how they how they dammed up the waterway going through there on how Dean did to say, dang it. It's a dam is what it is. It, it, I think kidding. what they will say is it's two inch gravel and it's permeable. Mm. And, and eventually it will be, but it will form quite a pond on the west side of it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just the, who, I'm who was the engineer, whoever that, laid that, that laid that whole deal out? I believe it's, it's the it's Chris Sorensen in Story County. I don't know. I mean, for Story Construction. Who was who was the guy from Story Construction that came in after mapping of the 
water lines and stuff. I, I don't understand. They're all, all shooting through the water lines. All right, that's boring. I, I don't want to, I mean, I don't want to bite your hand that feeds me, but. You already did? Yeah. You did? It's all yep. being recorded. So. Yep. Well, I think it's the right thing to do, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I don't want my, I don't want the people I work for to get in trouble because they didn't require permits it's to true. get told with the city that they're operating on. If I want us to maintain a really good relationship between schools and communities, and that means following the rules. Yeah. Well, in bigger picture, too, you can't be upset that, like, Heartland didn't pull permits, but then we're going to let the school do whatever they want. Right. Or, you know, a homeowner not pull permits and build an unsafe structure. Wait, so it's just, it's got to be fair across the board. There's rules in place for a reason. So I will kind of figure out on my end of the chain of command at the school who I need to put up. Last day of school with students is going to be the 31st of May. Wow. <laughs> Two weeks. Sure. I'm just trying to get you to do it, man. Right. <laughs> just give me my like, huge day. <laughs> Was there any further discussion on making a third stop over here? Did you ever hear any more about that? Oh, uh, yeah. Nate is working on it. Um, I think he wants to wait until he gets a better idea of who's coming in the school district. It's been quite an influx mm -hmm. of folks moving into the district. Maybe not in Cambridge, but, but some well, and even Slater. rural, rurally, and it's been a humongous pain in the backside losing that bridge. Oh, I can't. Ginormous. Yeah. Wait till 210 shuts. Uh -huh. It won't shut down until this next one is over, right? Right. right. Or so they say. So. Well, they can't. They can't. It's supposed to be. Yeah. 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 I mean, we have. There's a big conversation going on that goes to ten because of the traffic. You need to see it. You know, there's nothing. Oh, yeah. I mean, right. Hopefully, it's not going to take as long as Elkhart, but. It's Oh, Kirk's still not done. No, it does. No, yeah, they still have two on ramps. Let's one on ramp, one off ramp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still close. On the south, yeah. All right, is there any further comments? Or entertain a motion? I make a motion we adjourn. I just did. <laughs> You're second. I'm second. <laughs> I didn't hear you. <laughs> all right, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say nay. Eyes have it. Thank you. Head in the office. Wizard. Oh, I love it. I think I saw it.